Grabby and a feral servant, huh? Walking around with a candlestick. Alright, not worried about a candles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about uh, if that's real or not. And a pike. Is the pike real? That would, uh, well, it's not a mace. I'm still looking for a mace. I don't really, I wouldn't really use a pike, but let's see. I want to kill this Yahoo. We've got an acid zombie and a grappler. So, Ziggy the Zig. Whoa! Wee! Really? Three shots? <laughs> Close the gate. Oh, see, this is exactly what I worried about. That guy right there. I'm not 100% sure if he's allowed to spit through the chain link, chain mail or not, or chain link or not. I need to kill him Oof, sooner rather than later. All right, Ziggy, good job. Now let's get you reloaded. Back over the shoulder with you. Uh, let's see. Alright. Got all the corpses pulped. Get our stamina back. Necro Boomer and a hollow fun basement. Hmm. Yeah, with 99% uh, of the enemies, you just press S to smash and then pick the direction their corpse is in to smash them into a pulp. If it's an acid body, you got to be careful. It'll warn you. You want to uh, relocate the corpse out of the acid pool under your feet and then just butcher it and choose the dismember option. Takes about 40 seconds, which isn't too much longer than the smashing, and uh, takes care of the acid corpses so you don't get acid burns. Um, it's time to get some more Ziggy the Zig practice. That hollow might be able to reach right through the gate to get me. You start shooting him now. Can I shoot him through two fences? Apparently I can. <laughs> ah, blobs. Kill the blobs. Okay, um, more reloads for Ziggy. Go get our goodies before I get distracted and forget. So is the, uh, is the pike real? Um, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't get E to work in this case because I can't highlight anything, so the E E to examine won't work since it won't let me pick something up or highlight something that's too heavy. But you can still do it from this screen. So you bring up advanced inventory, highlight whatever you want, and press E. You'll get the details that way. So it's real also. Wow, we're on a pretty good run between these two mansions. So, there's the big pierce damage. No to hit bonus though, and pretty damn slow. The big benefit, of course, is it... Uh, Tell you. Yeah, long reach attacks. So this is the one that can hit three spaces away. Dangerous pickups equals true. Is that the one that lets you uh, select from that list? Oops. 
do to do to do dangerous pickups false um causes a player to drop new items that cause them to exceed the weight limit that doesn't sound like what i want oh wait false if false will cause a player to drop new items. <laughs> sounds like a good way to get in trouble <laughs> So, yes, now the, well, see, I still can't do the pike. So it's not solving all my problems. <laughs> so many, so many side issues and cases. If I drop the waifu and do it. Oh, yeah, as long as I have my hands available. I figured there was something about it. I don't think I would likely use the pike at any time anyway. I guess we should take it just cause. So let's uh, clear a path. Move you two out. Before we do anything else, let's get these goodies out of here. Take a look at something. So, inventory, chainmail, hey, welding rig. The welding rig? Welding rig? Mm, chainmail. So, refit. Repeat until refitted. Problem. Okay, fitted chainmail. Head, torso, arms, and legs. So hands and feet, face, eyes, mouth are all still covered. But I can wear the right helmet over the chainmail. I believe. <laughs> Let's see if we can just throw it on. Wear chainmail. So we're now in a riot helmet with chain and plate. And we're overweight. What a surprise. Only 50 torso encumbrance with our backpack. Pretty bad arm encumbrance at this point. <laughs> we got the face shield down causing that. All right. So let's uh, temporarily ditch the 95% my, you know. We're going to go with just the chain mail. Gets us down to 94 Keeping the riot helmet. So between the chainmail and the riot helmet, our main head location is in pretty good shape. And then the helmet's also giving us face, uh, eye, mouth protection for with the uh, the shield down. Mouth protection. We got the elbow pads. I got no knee pads yet. Steel-toed sneakers because we haven't found any rubber boots. All right, I think we're in okay shape. All. Let me grab some more ammo. Uh, this a kind. Yeah, that's full suit of chainmail. Chainmail armor covers head, torso, arms, and legs. Ninety-five percent cover. This is the number one piece of armor I go for when I'm not crafting armor, and I haven't crafted armor in forever. Ninety-five percent coverage. You generally can't get better without making survivor armor. Um, and how long that's going to be available, who knows, because they're going through and redoing all the armor. But uh, 95%. The problem here is the 30 warmth. It's pretty tough to keep on during the summertime. But 95% for low encumbrance. Only 10 encumbrance on the various body parts at 95%. And it gives you 15-15. I never care about the ballistic. Don't get shot. You won't have to care about ballistic. Uh, but 15 is enough that you're 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 immune to uh, standard damage from all the low-level zombies. Now we're at the point where most of the zombies I'm fighting are starting to be evolved zombies, so it's going to be less and less. But it's still just just an awesome uh, piece of armor for all the various settings. 
Uh, we're deficient on gloves for protection on our hands. Our footwear is actually okay with those steel-toed sneakers. Um, it's not like full armor level, but uh, you don't get hit in the feet all that often, though. Though we're still on the lookout for some of that stuff. I still wouldn't say no to visiting a museum if we get the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. The, I just want the rubber boots f while I'm in the basement uh, to prevent me having my legs boil off when a uh, spitter zombie steps around the corner and I'm in the middle of a pool of acid. I think I looked at the scabbard previously. Was there? I think there was a problem with proficiencies. I didn't. I didn't actually make it because we had. Yeah, it was going to take a day and a half, and <laughs> I've got no proficiencies, so I expect to fail constantly, and for the time frame to extend out. And I was hoping to just find one instead of having to uh, to make one. Only twelve and a half hours on that one. We need skilled leather working for the regular scabbard. Hmm. I might go for the back scabbard. It's more, uh, covers more items, I think. I can't remember. But we're going to wait till we get out of here to do that. So, scabbard would be nice, yes. Are you going to make the chainmail into a Faraday suit? I have not yet ever made a Faraday suit. I really don't usually have problems with electricity all that often. Acid in specific certain situations can be pretty nasty, but, um, yeah. Neither ardent. It's going pretty good. We're getting pretty lucky this evening. We got our katana. We got a bunch of the medieval weaponry. Only one I'm missing that I would really like to get a hold of now is a mace. If I can get a mace... And some hand and foot protection. We're, we're pretty much golden. I've got just about everything I could hope to have from found gear. To improve from here, I'd have to spend a bunch of time getting proficiencies to, uh, to craft certain pieces of gear. And I just don't know if I'm ever going to get to that point. The time it would take me to do is going to be uh, offset by the eight times evolution speed rapidly evolving every zombie in the world. <laughs> so... I don't know if trying to wait that long to get the little bit of extra protection is going to be worth the uh, severe upgrade in danger level that the world will, will have by the time I do it. Okay, uh, do I continue looking in the, in the mansions and stuff? Now that we're down to just a weapon that's kind of secondarily good, I think I might be done. I think the chance I'm going to find the mace downstairs in the basement is fairly low. And we've already got one each of the other major weapons. We've got a real katana, a real battle axe, a real cavalry saber, machete, uh, tonfa, nodachi, pike, rapier. So we've got almost a full set represented of the various weapon types. Do the hub quest to get the hub suit? Nah, that would require me to interact with NPCs. <laughs> oh yeah, and we have the riot armor too. I never actually uh, went and tried to put that on. Average coverage. Pretty bad. Hard arm guards. I need to get into that tickle fight. I keep forgetting to do the tickle fight. But yeah, I, I think my the the I'm always playing the odds. I'm always considering my knowledge of where I'm at, what the chances are of getting something, what the chances of danger are, and I think with the finding of the pike and the chainmail, we have now flipped the uh, risk to reward ratio back to the risk side. Um, the potential gains from finishing that mansion basement are now uh, vastly outweighed by I think the the risks. Because there's only one, the, the mace is really the only other thing I can think of. And we've already found several items here. I think the chances of yet another mannequin showing up with gear is significantly low. But there's still quite a bit of enemies, I think, in that basement that I would have to deal with. So, if it were a completely new mansion, I would probably go ahead and clear a bit of it. But I don't think I'm going to keep going with the, uh, the basement in this one. So... Let's, uh, let's pull away, make a few adjustments, and then figure out what we're going to do next. 
Yeah, we're we're very quickly getting to the point where I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and sit down and finish doing my reading and start working on... I mean, cybernetics I'm trying to work on, but uh, there's not a lot I can do when the game world doesn't. <laughs> I mean, we went, went to, we went to a refugee center, we found the NPC to give us the uh, mission and location for this, the Exodii, and it, it crashed. <laughs> it, it didn't work. So... Um, I mean, short of finding yet another refugee center, I'm not sure what I can do in that regards. Uh, but we're going to have to start diving into uh, the various lab types. So, uh, of the local area, if I had to pick one, I still don't think I'm going to bother trying out that, that deep freeze lab. And I'm a little leery of uh, if we came all the way down here to this research facility. I would have to clear through an awful lot of high-level nasties in order to even get to the lab, unless it had a, an underground entrance. So we might uh, we might have to go into a uh, one of the new facilities. I'm just kind of worried after our last trip in that uh, such ridiculous levels of damage are necessary. We just don't have that yet. I want to take a look at our my martial art and where my skills are on a few things as well. So let's uh, make a stop right here, I guess. Time for some more butter and bacon. Oh, uh, we'll have uh, eat jerky, I guess, and some pork sticks. How's the water supply doing? Fine. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta go get that fuel. We gotta go get that 80 liters of JP8. We'll just fill this tank. And I guess this tank. Thought I'd come up with another use for it. Alright, so... Uh, the gear we're wearing is fine. Um, everything's upgraded. I have not found the one item I need to finish fixing up the vehicle. We need ammo for the browning. Uh, skill-wise, let me look again. So, I need to get into a tickle fight so we can get our unarmed to three. We've already got the theoretical, so I just need to slap around some zombie, low-level zombie, and that'll shoot up to three really quick. So that'll get us to three unarmed. I think after that, we're, uh, we're constrained by five melee. I think we qualified for just about everything else. We'll get that one. We've already got that one. We already got that one, we got that one, that one right there, unarmed five. So unarmed five and melee five in order to do uh, the takedown and the assassinate. So that'll just take us some time. Take us uh, a good focus and a whole lot of melee combat, which we should be able to do without too much difficulty. If I just find the right locations and just chop a bunch of stuff up. Um... All right, what's it take to make the uh, quarterstaff? Oh, iron shod quarterstaff, lots of stuff I don't have. I don't think I'll be able to make this. Oh yeah, I don't have the t the anvil built. I haven't gone through and done all the, the metalworking tools and all that requirement. Quarterstaff, no problem. Iron shod, bit of a problem. <laughs> but we gain what? Six points of bash damage. I think that's really the only difference. A little heavier and six pounds of six points of bash damage, which is significant. So we can get the quarter staff put together, no problem. Just go mash a young tree here nearby and put a quarter staff in. Um, don't have the crucible. Frames are pretty easy. Yeah, I just don't have most of the uh, the metalworking tools. Crucible, tong I think I picked up tongs, but uh, it's been so long since I did the metalworking or the uh, the crafting stuff. <laughs> I don't even remember them all now. Got the tongs. 
Oh, we got the Swage and Die. Maybe it's just the Crucible and the Anvil I'm missing for the biggest things. Good old clay crucible. Hmm. Do what to do. I think maybe we'll skip that one. We've got the katana and uh, a couple other weapons that work with ninjutsu. I would just like a pretty decent bash weapon against certain enemies. It's the one thing I don't have. That's why I was hoping for the mace. Hey there. We'll just we'll just build it. That's the trick. We'll just build it. <laughs> All 240 charges of acetylene torch. That's funny. Manual tooling, blacksmithing. Yeah, I haven't tried one of these with uh, without all the proficiencies. I don't know how often it would fail. Extra materials I would need. Uh, would it take a week? I, I just don't know how it works. I've been kind of sidestepping a lot of the uh, crafting stuff because I haven't found it necessary. <laughs> Tiny electric motors. Uh, I forget exactly. There's, there are various tools where you can get that. Have you checked the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I don't remember if that shows you which items it's inside or not. Let's see. Guess we should turn off our lamp. So, cutting weapons to three. We haven't started on computers yet. Haven't finished healthcare yet. Haven't finished electronics. Ugh, it's just going to take us so much time. So much time. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's work our way down towards this radio tower. We'll see if it's got a wasp. If not, we'll hop onto it. That'll open up the map for this area. Uh, we're going to work our way down here to get the gas. We got JP-8 and a helicopter right there. But we'll hit this first, map this, and then work our way there. Then we'll kind of make a decision. Kind of depends on what I see in that area. I suppose while we're here, let's uh, install a few more Few more mirrors, so I'll get rid of these blind spots. There we go. Um V with inboard mirrors. 360 degree vision. Love it. At least we got out of the mansions before the entire dream went by. <laughs> A survivor cowboy, Ophelia Lugin. Have fun, Ophelia. <coughs> All right, no signs of uh, queens yet. It's been a little while. I've only seen that one time where I had a queen waiting for me up top. Let's uh, ditch that. Wield Ziggy, just in case. Nope. Another survivor's map. Eight. Survivor's map. Drop. Survivor's map. Uh oh, Migo. Hey there, Mr. Migo. Migo just south of us. Alright, what did we learn? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, it's a little close together. Uh, so, Dummerston. <laughs> Got a zoo. And nothing else I care about. Nope. Campground. Uh, school. Kind of on the outskirts. Not too many books left that I would care about. The radio tower... 
Nothing on the outer edges. Oh, Triffids. Triffid Grove, right on the edge of town. That's kind of ugly. Look at that. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven gun stores within a couple of blocks of each other. I think that's a new record. I think that's the highest concentration I've seen. Five within shouting distance of each other. That's funny. Keep hoping to find uh, military outposts and such on these maps, but they keep not giving them any, any to me. All right. Most of the rest of this I had mapped in already. So we've got a... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I had seen that before or not. I, did I see all three of those or did I just see two? I don't remember. That's, that's a lot of ants. <laughs> that is a lot of ants in that area. So we can go down through the uh, massively ant infested area to get to our helicopter. Otherwise, I don't really have a choice. I guess I could go out and then down this way to kind of go around it somewhat. That'd probably be the best bet. But I want to go south real quick just to check out this Migo. See what kind of body sight we got. Also a scout. What's over there? A full crowbar? Some meth? Nope. Nothing I need. All right, we'll uh, we'll shoot down near the town just so I can look at the roadway and see if there's any military vehicles I might be able to grab some 50 cal ammo out of or some composite armor. I don't think there's anything in houses I need anymore. Whoa. Hey, look at there. Is that a Humvee or is that that's the armored car? Dang it. That does not have the military composite armor. Close, but not quite. Yet another gun store. Alright, don't need anything there. Uh due east. Hmm, <laughs> another gas zombie. I think we've seen, have we seen a single outpost or a uh, bunker? They've gotten awful scarce. I think I'm lucky now to see even a single outpost or bunker during an entire challenge. And some of the ones I do are long. I travel quite a lot. I think they've gone through a uh, scarcity change. Not sure how long they might have been that way. Hey there, Finn boy. Uh, there's usually at least half a dozen flaming eyes at the research facilities. Unless they get killed by some other en en entities that also spawn. But uh, yeah. Flaming eyes are very common at the... Uh, let's see. Can I get adjacent to this thing with the vehicle? Yes. Right there. Siphon. Um, yep. Hmm, I think it disappeared that first. What the hell? <laughs> Are we not working? Oh, never mind. There we go.
Uh oh, Gonzo's back. Hey there, Gonzo Archer. Thanks very much for the generous donation. There. Now we do not have a gas problem. <laughs> what is that? 150 some liters of fuel? It'll freak me out when I run out of diesel and I have to switch the engine over to the JP8, but uh, otherwise, we are good to go for quite a while. So, this is the Trans Coast. We've got one of the uh, the new style square labs. I haven't spent a lot of time in these. They're pretty hella dangerous. Uh, I'm not sure what the evolution would have done to this place. A bit of an interesting dichotomy because there's a lot of robots and there's also the uh, uh, turret. So a lot of these zombies can get killed by the robots. And if you time things right from your approach, and you just kind of wait a bit, <laughs> they kill each other. Then you can go down and kind of mop up the corpses before they uh, the reanimate. That dump we already checked, and then that's the research facility there. That's assuming we want to keep going this direction. So we got our choice of a bunch of fun stuff, theoretically. Look at the... Uh... Not sure what might still be uh, uh, running around inside here. Not much in the parking lot that I can see so far. <laughs> Come on. Don't be that way. That corrosive is gonna... What the hell? <laughs> okay, corrosive. You go on your own way. He's, he's, he wants none of this. He's going southwest. Everybody else is coming up north. <laughs> uh oh. As long as they're uh, willing to come at me in a nice, orderly fashion, leaving plenty of room in between, I don't mind shooting them all in the face. wonder if the, uh, the turrets inside here are firing and that's what's drawing these guys over. Why only them and not the other ones, I don't know. What do you think? Is that pupating going to go to the flyers? I think it's going to turn into the flyers. Got one zombie trapped in a car. Another boomer. Eh, I'm willing to wait. I think he would have already transformed if he was going to. enough uh, I really need to kill the corrosive first that's interesting human coming to get me I'm waiting for a fifth or for a machine gun in the lobby there to <laughs> snipe me from range this one please whoops all right so they're all pulped um parking lot's clear huh hmm
Just checking back through chat. Why did I dismember the acid zombie corpse in the mansion? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Any place I plan on sticking around for more than six or so hours, I'll usually dismember the corpses if I'm going to be there. <clears throat> if you uh, try to smash an acid corpse, it'll splash acid on you. Or it has a high chance of splashing acid on you. You get a warning message about it nowadays. Back in my day, <laughs> you didn't get that warning. You would just smash and splash acid all over you, and then you would do the owie owie acid dance. <clears throat> but now you get a nice warning whenever you try. So instead, you drag the corpse over to your space, then you butcher it using the dismember corpse option. Only takes about 40 seconds, and uh, gets rid of the corpse without any acid potential, any damage. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to go in here. Really not sure I want. Last time we came in here, the number of acid and uh, shock and super punch was pretty high. And it may be even worse this time. I gotta figure out the best way to do what the name of this series is, Evolve or Die. CBMs are pretty hard to come across with the Exodii changeover. I think I would be more tempted to come down and try to clear this one first than this one. So let's take our temporary win of clearing the parking lot and go elsewhere for now. We'll go take a peek at this other lab, see what the initial entry looks like. If it's too god-awful, we'll, uh, well, we'll see. But I got, I got to start visiting these kinds of places, so there's not really much left other than leveling up some more of my skills for CBMs and uh, mutagen crafting. And I don't have any of the recipe books for the mutagen stuff, the specialty stuff because we haven't been able to find an old-style lab to get them out of other than that deep freeze lab. Boomer Glutton. I love the Boomer Glutton. Probably my f currently my favorite, one of my favorite graphics. Those murder crows are pretty cool. But this this guy's, <laughs> he's just ridiculous. <laughs> You're so pretty. Ah, we got a smoke zombie or something down there too. Hmm. And a scale jug. Uh, this, side, this side of my screen here is just going to pretty much stay bright red. <laughs> I'm assuming... Is that an ashen brawler or a smoke zombie? That's an ashen brawler. You're going to make me... Ah, we didn't get him. We didn't finish him. At least we got a, an actual road to get good speed this time. A scale jug. Still think I missed him. Oh, nope, got the drawler. Cool. Now the smoke will dissipate. Eventually. The trick here is just not to hammer right into some cars while I'm trying to do this. Ooh, just missed. Alright, only one left is the Boomer Glutton. Him, I think I'm gonna shoot. Uh, 
Uh oh. Another unknown USB drive. I really should pick up at least a little bit of computer skill just so I can double check. Make sure that the uh, practice stuff is working. <laughs> Chocolate bars. This fast acting sedative. <laughs> okay. A lot of pretty cool vehicles right here, too. Hearing no gunfire. I don't think these can be deep freeze labs. I think only the old style labs can be deep freeze. This is one of the new uh, only single or double floor square labs. If it's if on the overworld map it just says lab, that's the new square style. If it says science lab, that's the old uh, previous version. It has multiple random levels and uh, the finale. So this is the science lab. So, science lab, old style. Lab, new style. But yeah, I'm not hearing any gunfire. Um, I don't want to do any long, any reading or anything. It's going to take time to pass to do here. I have to drive out of reality bubble range if I'm going to try to do that. So... We want to read and heal or just poke let, let's poke our nose down there we'll see how bad it is it'll probably be horrifyingly bad let's go find out nobody waiting for me that's kind of weird just a slime Did they already all get killed by the uh the robots <laughs> it's just going to be a, a swarm of man hacks and taser hacks flying at me I really do need to get a scabbard because this having to drop my katana every time I want to switch to this is problematic. So, we're going to go ahead and drive away. We're going to see if we can at least craft a back scabbard and maybe get a level of computer skill before I try to go in there. Go north. Uh oh, I broke a mirror already? Dang it. <laughs> These things break so fast. Alright, so I already reapplied a bandage and disinfectant. Um, so, back scabbard. Got all the tools, got all the parts. Only got enough leather for two attempts. Red, no problem. Duct tape, no problem. Strings, no problem. I don't have that many nails. Ah, oh, I don't have enough nails. That's going to be funny. I'm going to not be able to make it because I'm going to run out of nails. We passed so many nails. I'm trying to remember the difference is what? One is what? Torso? I know that's torso. Covers the torso strapped. Oh, yeah. Leg strapped. That's right. And you can swap between left leg, right leg. Um, hmm. What you want to go for? I've actually got more attempts I could do with this longer one. Same skill level. Hmm. I actually want this screen.
What star did I pick? I, I forget the name of it. It's the one that's supposed to have the strong portal storm start, but we haven't seen a single portal storm so far. Kind of weird. Alright, we'll give it a try. So, we'll just do try the regular scabbard and see what happens. Um, <laughs> sure. Plastic button sounds good. Duct tape sounds good. Uh, bows of Ziggy, wear it. Tailoring to six. Definitely gonna take a while. <laughs> Theoretical tailoring seven. Practicals tailoring seven. And we lost the light. Hmm. Did they change the graphics so much? Well, that kind of depends on your viewpoint. <laughs> the game doesn't actually come with graphics typically, unless you pick one of the uh, graphic packs. So whatever graphic pack you're used to, this is probably a slightly different one. We are now using Chibi Ultica for our graphics tile set. Chibi Ultica. My previous videos, I've been using Chibi Ultica for a few months now, but prior to that, for a couple years, I was using Undead People. Undead People. So. We are now on Chibi Ultica. <clears throat> Ultica, which is Ultimate Cataclysm, is kind of the default tile set for the game now. I don't like the way the character and some of the monsters look in Ultica tile set, so I've chosen the hybrid Chibi Ultica. All that does is it uses, instead of the uh, character models and monster models from Ulti Ult uh, Ultica, it uses the uh, MSX Plus version, which is what Undead People was based on. So the character and a lot of the monsters will be familiar because they all come from an older tile set that uh, Undead People and a lot of other ones were built off of. Um, but otherwise, the vehicles and terrain and buildings and so on are all from the uh, Ultica tile set. All right, so we made it 30% progress. It hasn't, uh, hasn't exploded yet. I didn't see any messages about it using more materials, but it's going to take us probably another at least full day to, uh, to get it finished. Um... We'll go ahead and uh, flip on our atomic reading light. So we've got infinite light. Get something to drink. Oh, we're obese. Hey, we finally hit obese. Our butter and bacon diet finally uh, pushed us up to the next category. Yay! We're on the no food diet for a while. <laughs> Activate in progress scabbard. Alright, we're tired and it's midnight. Let's... It, it doesn't really matter. My day-night cycle's irrelevant at the moment. So, we will stop though. Just, uh... Oops. We can head to sleep for the night. Let's throw on another bandage to our brain case. Don't mess around with that one. Need to grab some more antiseptic. All right, so let's just go to sleep. <laughs> Zapper zombie spotted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I laid down to sleep and then the Zapper zombie was spotted? Well, I know I can see him. That's weird, because I mean, I would have been, <laughs> I would have been prone. I shouldn't have been able to see him at all. The way the game usually works is even though he has no idea I'm here, he's going to find his way up here and mess with me. Really annoying. Um,
<laughs> no, we're definitely not going to M2 him. <laughs> we'll just go down and chop him up. Oh. Well, hey, a bunch of other guys. That's kind of rude. I guess I should have flipped on the goggles before I came down. Never mind. We'll just drive away. <laughs> No particular reason. I, I do need to. I do need to practice some melee, but not against shock zombies and spitter zombies. So we'll just go find a different spot. Big open field. They'll probably still find me, which will be hilarious. But All right, we'll sleep with a waifu ready to go in our hand. Uh, let's go ahead and get the blindfold on. I want to make sure I get a full night's sleep. Theoretical practical skill is now a default in the game if you're on the experimental branch. Actually, did the first implementation of that go into 0.f? I don't remember. I don't keep track of what was in the last stable. It's too hard to keep the current stuff and the previous stuff in my brain. It's an okay system. It works fine once you understand how it works. It doesn't really slow you down much compared to how it used to be. Alright. Goodbye, blindfold. So we have light. We're hungry. We're still obese. We'll just get some water. And keep working on our waifu back over there. And where's my in-progress scabbard? <laughs> God damn it. They always find me. Uh, you're so broken, game. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> I slept all night right next to a corpse pit. <laughs> That's great. Uh, that is hilarious. Now I'm more astonished that I did not get interrupted at night. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to, hey, they found me. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I actually pulled up and parked right next to a corpse pit. We got all sorts of fun ones. We got the zombie master upgrading everybody. We got the uh, necro boomers. We got gluttons. Multiple gluttons. Good times. That's funny. Okay, this is not a good spot for us to just hang out. <laughs> uh, I, I, I am astonished that I didn't get woken up at night with all those guys so close. Uh-oh. Which one is it? Uh, it just says rest in peace. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. I, I still haven't had anybody definitively tell me which, which message on the sign indicates the special item. In the, uh, the grave. I don't come across them often enough, and I, I don't dig very many of them up. But, all right, let's try this again. <laughs> hey, we finally lost some parts. All right, I can afford all those. You are now proficient in principles of leatherworking. Lucky us. That's going to take us yet another day. We're making about 30% progress a day. <laughs> so by tomorrow, we should have our scabbard. And, uh, you know, every zombie in the world should be 20% tougher. Not sure the scabbard's worth it. Uh, we're not tired yet, so we'll go back to the atomic reading lights. Continue crafting. Maybe we can finish it. Hey, we can. Look at that. All right. Scabbard is not a valid ninjutsu weapon. Okay. We're going to wear the scabbard. And we're going to uh, grab waifu. 
Okay, waifu. Waifu is now in the scabbard. Yay! Which leg did that go on? Scabbard. Left leg. Uh, do I want it on the left leg? Uh, yep, it's fine. What's that, 25 versus 18? I don't think it's going to make a difference. Uh, I forgot what the key is to switch it. Change side, C. Eh, we'll go with that one. <laughs> a couple points less. So 18 and 22. We'll cross draw. How do you quickly move things like planks to the back of cars? The auto in or the advanced inventory system. So, for example, this is the advanced inventory system, which is the uh, forward slash key. Learn how to use this. I have a video on my YouTube channel in my university series that talks about the advanced inventory manager. It'll save your life, save your sanity. So, basically, though, there's two different panes. You can set each side to a different location. So, for example, I can set this V equals the vehicle storage. So this is the back of the vehicle just north of me. On this side, I'll tell it to set it to the ground space just south of me. If I bring the cursor back over here, I can just press one key and it transfers everything below me. So with just a single key press, you can move things around very, very quickly and easily. Just takes a little getting used to looking at this side, setting it what you want, looking at this side, setting what you want, and knowing which keys to press, which you can find with the question mark key. But I go over it and demonstrate it and so on in the uh, university series. It's one of the early ones in that series. And it hasn't changed any since I re recorded that one like four years ago. You def absolutely definitely need to know how to use the advanced inventory system in Cataclysm. So, for example, I could set this to the A or all category. It shows me every single thing around me. Set this to, uh, oops, all. Set this to the ground below me or south of me. And I could transfer every single item out of my vehicle into a space with one key press. Um, so combining the advanced inventory manager and the haul command where you can drag things around under your feet uh, makes moving mass quantities of items way, way easier. Hopefully you know about the hall command. So if you stand on a stack of items, you'll have to, you can set up your own hotkey. Uh, whoops. Uh, I forget what the default is. I've got mine changed. Wrong key. <laughs> key binding. Uh, hall items, hall items. Somewhere in here. Not the tab key. Not home end. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Where is it? My... I don't know where it's at. It's in here somewhere. I'm not going to look for it. But you can press your key and then it drag... Whoa! Hey there, Necromancer. You can press the key and it'll drag anything below your feet while you move. Uh, Let's activate waifu. Hopefully there's not a million other guys coming at me. Uh, wield waifu. Come get me, Necro. Unk. Got my atomic light on so they can see me at range, even though it's dark. Oh yeah, between the haul items command and then this kind of inventory management, you can very quickly and easily move items around however you need to. Yeah, you have to use Advanced Inventory Manager when you're going through windows and into vehicles and that kind of stuff. All right, well, one more thing accomplished. We have a scabbard now for uh, certain types of weaponry. So that's been accomplished. So now I'll be able to swap back and forth between my, my gun and my primary melee weapon. I still wish I had a bash weapon. 